Hello? Oh, hello. Just one minute, please. I'm just stepping out of the meeting room. Sure. Okay? My name is Adam Smith. I'm calling from NobelPrize.org, the website of the Nobel Prize in Stockholm. I gather I'm talking to you in France, is that right? No, I'm in Ulm, Germany at the moment. Oh, right, okay. Um, so how did you hear the news of the prize then? Um, I think the committee called me up about 11.15 this morning. And you're at a scientific meeting or...? Yes, I'm at a very appropriately a battery meeting in Ulm. <laughs> you were the first to develop lithium-ion batteries when you were at Exxon in the early 70s. How does it make you feel to see their ubiquitous presence now? Oh, I think it's great. You know, it, it, the field started off small and it's just mushroomed since then. You know, it's great to see all the changes and how it's impacting everybody's lives. They've truly changed the world. Yes. It was a very special research environment at Exxon in those days, wasn't it? Yes, it was, it was very special. Exxon wants to be the world's top energy company, and they basically said, the whole group of us do great research, get it published, don't work on chemicals and petroleum. So we, we started working on batteries and many other things at that time. And uh, they treated researchers like drilling an oil well. Only 10% work out, but if it's looking promising, they'll put a lot of money into it, and they did. <laughs> That's lovely. That sounds like the much-talked-about environment they used to have at Bell Labs, letting people get on with it. Yes, and got to realize Exxon's labs were 20 miles from Bell Labs. Lab. So it was a culture at the time, in a way. Yes. So there was a lot of competition between the two labs. Uh, given the grand challenges we face now, I suppose people might say we need that environment again. Yes, I think so, but it's going to be very difficult to recreate that environment. Most companies are beholden to the stock market. Mm. So what was the secret of Exxon's being able to do that at the time? It's just a different attitude at that time, I think. And you can look at a whole range of American companies, you know, General Electric, DuPont, IBM, all had fundamental research labs which looked out 10 years or more. Mm -hmm. But you know, now, with so much focus on becoming a fossil-free world, there's really no way of doing it unless they make the, we make the necessary improvements in battery technology. Are you hopeful that things are going very much in the right direction at the moment? I'm very hopeful. I think it's happening faster than anybody expected. Well, I must say you sound very calm. Well, I don't, don't think it's um, got home yet. <laughs> Uh, have you managed to at least um, tell your family that, of the news? Um, some of my family have got hold of others are still sleeping. Well, it's, it's been a huge pleasure to speak to you. Thank you very much indeed, and see you in December. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, okay. see you. Bye.